Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Power BI service environment for yourself with 25 users, um, like a full environment that you have access to practice and learn and test your Power BI service functionality all for free, how you can create that. Let's check it out. Before explaining how this environment works out, let me explain uh, why you need such a thing. Uh, when you are practicing Power BI, even you are learning Power BI or you want to uh, do some tests on Power BI functionality, there are different components of Power BI. One is Power BI Desktop, of course, which is free. You download it, you practice whatever you want there. And then another one is Power BI website or Power BI service. That is the place that you publish your reports in there and then you can share it with others. Uh, it's a hosting environment. For Power BI service, you need an account and you can create a free account. There is no problem with that. The free account, however, has some limitations such as, for example, you cannot share anything across your organization. You cannot create workspaces. You cannot create apps. You won't have access to uh, a lot of functionalities. So what you can do instead is to have a Power BI Pro account or premium account. Now, uh, some organizations have um, have some limitations that um, you can't really have a Power BI account for some reasons, or you have a Power BI account, but it is a limited account. Like you cannot create a workspace because it is closed in your environment that you cannot create workspace or you can even create workspace, but you are not Power BI service admin. So you cannot really see what the tenant settings configurations are because in a large organization, Power BI service admin is just somewhere, someone in the IT team perhaps. So a lot of limitations. What would be helpful is that you could have an environment for yourself to test, to practice, to learn how Power BI service works. And that is what I mean by Power BI sandbox. It's an environment that you create for yourself. Now, to do that, you need to use this program actually called, um, I'm about to bring that over here, uh, the program that is called uh, Microsoft 365 Developer Program. Now, this program is uh, not just for Power BI. It is basically for Microsoft 365, which includes Office 365, Power Platform, uh, not Azure, but things such as Azure Active Directory and a lot of other things. Uh, it is free. It is available for 90 days since the day you sign up for this program. Um, and it gives you 25 users um, and you can practice whatever you want. It comes with some sample data, like if you want to work with Teams and um, Microsoft Outlook and some stuff like that. This is definitely helpful for students they want to learn or even instructors who wants to teach these things. How does it work? Pretty much simple. Uh, you come to this URL. You can find, find that URL down in the description in my blog. Uh, then you just click on join now. You would need a Microsoft account or, um, or a work account would also work like this. Now I have created one with my work account already, so it pr probably wouldn't allow me to do that. I can try my uh, live account. Okay. Uh, so once I've signed in, this asks me for uh, some um, primary questions such as where I am located, what is the region I'm located, uh, this can be anything basically. These are some, I would say like marketing questions. What is your company? Uh, you can set that to the language you prefer and accepting terms and conditions. Then it will ask questions such as like, what is your primary focus? What you are using this for? For example, this could be personal project or internal use or anything like that. Choosing something else wouldn't mean that you would not have access to this sandbox. These are some like primary marketing questions and what are the products you are interested in. Again, you can choose that. When you click on save, the next stage is that what type of sandbox do you like? Do you like an instant sandbox, which would be provisioned like immediately after you create it, or uh, you want to configure it um, with uh, like some customized information. For that, you need to wait for a couple of days for this to provision. 
but for Power BI purposes, the instant one would just work perfectly. It would come with a lot of other things, not just Power BI, and it is available for 90 days. So when once you click on that, you can go ahead with next, choose the region you want this to be on, um, the username and password for admin, and that is pretty much it. If you want to have username for um, for some of your users, uh, password for some of your users to be different, you can choose that as well. Because this instant sandbox comes with 16 uh, predefined users, this would be the password for those, or if you don't define it, it would be just the admin password. Once you've done that, when you click on continue, it will come up with a message showing that this is your environment, this is your domain, this is your um, username, and, and that's it. Then, then it is something you can use with to go ahead and log in. Now I click on cancel that because I already created one and I show you that I'm logged in in Power BI using that account actually. So this is my account. These accounts are Power BI Pro accounts. So you have basically like 25 Power BI Pro accounts. You can even go to portal.office.com if you are logging in with your admin accounts, basically, then you are the Office 365 administrator. You can go to the admin page. In that admin page, you have access to do whatever you want. This is your tenant. This is your environment. And you have full control on this. Uh, I can go and see my active users, their licenses, and all those kind of things. They all have Microsoft 365 E5 developer license. Uh, and these are some sample users. Uh, E5 means that they would have Power BI Pro. However, if you want to have premium functionality, you can choose uh, the trial of premium per user uh, if you are interested in that. Um, but even with Pro, you have functionality such as workspaces, goals, apps, data sets, data flows. A lot of things are available here for you to practice. This is available for 90 days. You can try sharing options such as putting it in a workspace, sharing across the um, organization, like this organization that you have with your other users and see how that, that is going to work. Because this is your environment, you have full access to the admin portal. So when you go to admin portal, you can see things such as tenant settings and all those configurations. So pretty much helpful. It is valid for 90 days. It is not just Power BI, as I mentioned. It is for some other things as well, uh, other Office 365 and Power Platform features. Uh, it is a fantastic environment for learning. So if you are a student learning Power BI or if you are already knowing Power BI but you don't have full functionality, for example, you don't have access to admin uh, portal tenant settings or you cannot create workspaces, you cannot really practice these functionalities and see how they are, this is a great environment for you. Limitations are that you cannot really use it for a production environment, you cannot really use it for end users sharing content with them. Microsoft will be watching this environment if they feel that you are not really using it for like development purposes, then uh, they might not renew it because usually it renews after 90 days. And you have 25 users, you can do whatever you want with that. I hope this helps you to set up your environment for practicing learning Power BI. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.